Hey everyone, uh, this will be just a quick intro to Geoda. Um, we'll, we'll learn how to sort of bring in a shapefile to the software and uh, display interesting clusters up on the map. Um, and it's a pretty quick process, so uh, we can just go ahead and jump into it. So this is what Geoda looks like when you first open it. And uh, just to get a shapefile into the software, you just can click this folder and add shapefile. Uh, you can also go and grab all the shapefile constituent parts and drop them in here if you need to. Um, but I find it easiest just to go here. Um, and here I've just got uh, the MD zips data that we uh, are using for assignment 11. Um, and I'm just going to open this one. And you'll see it just opens a map here. Um, and what we want to do if we want to show clusters using Moran's eye, um, we can just click on space and go down to univariate local Moran's eye and you'll get this error um, and it says Geoda could not find required weights file. So essentially what you need is a weight which uh, is a, indivi a individual unique ID identifier for each of these polygons, in this case it's uh, zip codes, and uh, so Geoda can understand, okay, which zip codes touch other zip codes so that it can uh, come up with the run the clustering algorithm. Um, and so what we do is just click on this Weights Manager W right here, and it will open this window, and we'll just click Create. And in some cases, there might be a unique variable already included in here. Um, but uh, it's just really easy to add your own if you don't know if there is a unique uh, ID variable. So you just click Add ID Variable. You don't even have to change it. And then uh, what we're going to want to do is click Queen Contiguity. And then we don't really need to change anything else. Um, and we can just click Create at that point. And you'll see it will uh, have you save it out somewhere. And specifically, when you're working with Maryland, you'll 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 see this neighborless observation, um, and that's normal because uh, there are islands in Maryland that physically don't have neighbors. Um, so down here, and then also Astigue. Um So you can just click OK, and it will save successfully. And now we'll be using uh, it'll just use this to uh, create the clusters that we want, um, and then we can go back up to space univariate local Moran's eye. And um, then we can pick what variable we want to draw our clusters on. And so in this case, we could just do uh, the amount given to uh, the total amount of money given to political parties or candidates um, in the state. And when we click through that, uh, we get a couple of options here. We can um, click all of them. The one that we're most interested in is the cluster map itself, but we can also look at these two. Um, and what this will do is draw us our uh, high, high, low, low map. Um, and uh, so just like we've learned in lecture, this is uh, the, the dark red areas are clusters of high giving. So lots of lots of money being given next to uh, places that lots of money is being given. So it's it's hot spots for giving. Uh, and low low is uh, maybe cold spots for giving. So it's it's low zip codes with low amounts of giving, also next to uh, spots with with low giving. Um, and so this should all be sort of review from from lecture at this point. And this is our significance map. So uh, this sort of tells us how how confident we can be in these clusters. Um, and you, they have uh, various p values. So darker is we're more confident. Uh, that this this relationship was found not by just chance, um, and then this is sort of the the uh, scatter plot that uh, it sort of draws this map for us. So the this bottom left quadrant is the low low, and the top top right is the high high. Um, but so this is just a quick uh, introduction to drawing our Lisa maps or our cluster maps or whatever you want to call them. Um, and uh, so it's just pretty easy. Uh, if you ever want to save this, you can just right click it and click Save Image As, and it's very easy to, to save the image out. So, all right, that's, uh, that's everything. Quick intro, 
shows you how to get the weights, shows you how to get the cluster maps up there. So uh, should get you going.